Hello everyone. Welcome to Kirti Swin for NRI community. I am CS Kirtana. I live in Dubai. I run the consultancy of firm specialized in NRI services. I am an ACS company secretary and also I have cleared strategic levels of SEMA from UK and I am a SEBI registered MFD too. As usual, I am here to help you navigate the complex NRI finance. I received lot of questions about today's topic. There is a confusion among NRIs about one of the most popular schemes of Indian government that is Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana. I am going to discuss everything you need to know about Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana today. I am going to analyze this from the perspective of NRIs. So stay tuned till the end. Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana is one of the most reliable, affordable, popular investment scheme launched by PM Modi in 2015 to encourage girl child's education. The scheme was launched to make girls financially secure under Beti Bachao and Beti Padao campaign. The scheme had become very popular among Indians because the contribution for investing in the scheme can start from just 250 rupees and go up to 150000 rupees annually upon reaching 21 years the amount can be withdrawn for higher studies or marriage of the girl child imagine someone is depositing 112000 rupees every year in this sukanya samriddhi yojana in 2023 they start if they keep doing it every year without any pause by the end of 2044 When the girl child reaches 21 years, it will be 50 lakhs. So, because Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana provides 8%, which is actually a better rate of return in India. That's why it is very popular. To make it attractive, the scheme also offers triple E tax benefits. That is exempt, exempt, exempt category. Means up to 1 lakh 50 thousand contribution that you are making, it is eligible under Section 80C for deduction. and the interest earned is also tax free lastly the maturity amount which you are going to get is also outside taxation for this reason even nris or ocs are asking this question can an nri parent open this account to for their girl child in this video let's dive deeper into this topic but before that please don't forget to subscribe my channel and share it with your friends back to the topic now Now let's go deeper into the scheme Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana and understand it from NRI perspective. For this we have to analyze three different scenarios. Scenario 1. If the parents and child both are OCIs or overseas citizen of India means they are holding passport of other nations but they have roots connection in India. In this case if the child is born outside India and has OCI card since it is not holding Indian citizenship SSY or the scheme is not open to this family scenario number 2 if parents are OCIs but the child is born in India but the child is living outside India with its parents in this case also child is not entitled to open sukanya samriddhi yojana in her name it cannot be interpreted straight forwardly to make it clear this ssy scheme depends on the residential status of the child so now please understand if the child is also living outside with its parent it is nri right and it might also have oci card in this case the scheme is not available now the last one scenario number 3 in this case you are holding indian passport means you are indian citizen but you are not resident you are an nri in this case what happens see there is a trick here and actually it doesn't make any sense for you to hold the existing sukanya samriddhi yojana too why you know because when you are an nri the account is considered as closed and no interest will accrue on this so to illustrate this imagine our babu had a girl child in 2020 and he opens ssy account for his daughter in 2021 and after one year in 2022 he gets job in dubai and he lives in india and his family is also relocating along with him and all of them are becoming nris in this case 
but they are still holding Indian citizenship. Now, what should Babu do with respect to this SSY scheme? He has to inform the bank or post office branch where this account is opened within one month of change in the residential status. And it is best for him to make the premature withdrawal because he is not going to get any interest even if he continues that. Now, I am making it very clear by reiterating the same point. Only Indian citizens who are residing in India are allowed to hold SSY or Sukanya Samradhi Yojana and they are going to get this rate of return. Now for all NRIs, is there any other option? Imagine for all NRIs who have moved abroad after opening SSY, definitely they cannot continue and after becoming NRI, they cannot even open fresh account. Then for all NRIs, is there any close alternative option? Yes, there is. It's hybrid balance advantage funds which have exposure to both equity and debt securities. If you can continue investing a specific amount for 21 years in these hybrid funds, you may be able to generate really good rate of return. But I have taken only conservative calculation that is 12% here because see the 10 years average return of most of the leading hybrid funds when I have checked was 12.8%. But one thing you should understand clearly. Sukanya Samriddhi Yojana is a government-backed scheme, hence the risk involved in the scheme is close to zero. But the fund which I am mentioning is little riskier. But the risk factor is comparatively lesser than typical equity investment because it has an exposure to debt also. This is not an investment advice where you can blindly go and invest in any schemes or funds. You have to consult a professional financial advisor before choosing the fund so that you can understand the risk factors involved in it. That's all for today. If you like my video, please, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your NRI friends.